the Jameis Winston versus Taysom Hill question, right? I think to me, Winston, if he's the starter, I actually feel confident in Michael Thomas being a top 10 wide receiver. We saw between like the four or five year period with Mike Evans, he hyper targeted Evans at nine and a half targets per game. So he's been known to lock on to an elite number one wide receiver. Now I understand Michael Thomas and Mike Evans are different types of receivers, but with that, I think the biggest thing with Sanders leaving is you're right. Traquan Smith has not been consistent. Callaway's an unknown. Harris is an unknown. I think it just hyper focuses to Michael Thomas. So I think to answer your question, if it's Taysom Hill, I think you, I would only feel comfortable in the third, but if it is going to be Jameis Winston and we think he's going to be the starter and kind of run like a Drew Brees versus the Taysom Hill, what he was last couple of years. I think I would take Thomas in the second round. Well, here's what I think kind of happens with that though. I, I think they roll both of them out and they're going to roll them out a little differently than they, they did last year. Because I think again, the contract 140 million, again, I understand voidable each year, but you don't offer that someone as a fake promise just to get them to sign for a year. Like they they have some hope. Even if it's uh, you know, not they don't trust him that much, they make it voidable. Some hope that he's going to be the future. And so I firmly believe that they will, if they do choose Winston, which I don't think is a foregone conclusion, it'll be from the 20 to the 20, and more so than we've ever seen before. Inside the 20s is Taysom Hill territory. What that does to Winston's confidence, what that does to Winston's production, what it does to the game flow, which all the momentum will be in Taysom Hill's corner because where is Taysom Hill dominant?